Hey friends, here's a little tip for you. We're putting back together the uh, RD60. And this is a part that I think is often overlooked and that is replacing the cylinder studs. You know, when you think about the, the real estate between these four studs and how far it is and that it has to clamp that to get this engine from exploding apart, it has a pretty big job. And when we look at the actual engine itself, and see how long that is for that thin bolt. And if this thing is, you know, had a couple top ends done to it or, or been worked on over time, these will stretch, especially if people not using torque wrenches, they get, you know, super violated. So uh, I'm a big fan of replacing cylinder studs uh, when doing a top end. I just think it's a great idea. You can see as we're, you know, restoring the motor so here. In this particular case, uh, it was actually such an issue with a previous mechanic, you can see where they tried to JB weld it, and it actually pulled the threads. It's just, it was just a whole nightmare um, that that really can be avoided. Take your time, do the right thing. You can see that when we uh, did the engine here, that we, you know, cleaned and chased all the holes. These are going in really nice and easy. I'll put a couple pictures here of how I uh, double nut those and put them on. And I've got a YouTube video on a on a Harley, but it's the same uh, same process and procedure. But a uh, quick little tip for you, a little reminder, when you're getting all your parts, don't forget, you know, the uh, the stuff that's often overlooked by everybody else. Do it the right way. Use some craftsmanship. Make it a great night. I'm going to get back at it. As always, keep wrenching. We'll see you again soon. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up.